drop my top and cruise Them say na monkey we be So we settle and we tell our banana uh, I see God and all my people So if heaven know they hear them where he did I can only love my place And we still make them feel vibration Vibration We still make them feel vibration Ooh, vibration Still make them feel vibration Vibration We still make them feel vibration Ooh, vibration Guys, listen, um, this this is a really humbling experience. I'm I'm humbled and, and excited at the same time. And this is a part of me that most of you don't know because I, I never, I, I don't think I've ever said anything about this side of my life. Um, so over the weekend, I happened to have to come home and this is home. And I'm surrounded by two powerful chiefs and powerful, powerful, powerful men. And I'm humbled to be in the midst of them. And th th listen, when I say this is home, I mean business. And to my right is my, my brother, my big brother. He's my, my chief. He's, he's uh, my leader. He's, I just, he talks to me like a friend. And this, this side is what is going to be viewed, what I've never spoken about, as the fact that I'm actually from a royal home. And this is my chief, this is my king, my, my head, and I'm humbled by it. And if, if you've ever heard me say my great ancestor, Nana Boza, he is sitting in the person of him, and I'm humbled by it. This is Buzia. We're actually in Buzia. This is and I'm probably most of you guys didn't know I'm a prouder hunter, but I only speak two, two words in a hunter, like, oh, one day and I, okay, I'm done. <laughs> Don't ask me anything in a hunter, that's all I know. And also to my left is um, the chief of Aguna, but Nana is also the chief of Akitechi, um, which literally means that the, the covering of the Otun for the hunter, um, a hunter man. So there's a powerful, powerful, powerful man. He's also the advisory, the chief advisory to Otunfo himself. And when I say Otunfo, I mean Otunfo Bedebonsu. Um, I heard in the air, I don't know how true this is, Otunfo Bedebonsu is the first Otunfo actually to be in this country, in this land, oh. ever. Okay, so I'm right. What I heard is true. So this is really humbling. And I want to say this even before we get into it. Wherever the conversation gets to, this is only the beginning. We just started. This is only the beginning. This is just an intro. We'll pick a real date, come back, come and hear the real story. I've had so many mind-blowing things that just blew me away. And I don't want to make, do much talking. Nana, Akwaba, yeah. I'm humbled that you're here. And I'm humbled that we're having this conversation. This was supposed to happen three or four years ago. And uh, my stubbornness, <laughs> I never came for it to happen. So, Nana, no, no. yeah. you're welcome. Thank you. Mm, so I have a family scattered across the face of the earth, and they, they love it that I bring them these truths. And finally, I'm home in my own with my people. Nana, no, no, what do you have for us? First of all, you introduce yourself and what you stand for. Yeah, I am, I'm Nana Boza the Ninth. Mm. The Manrehini of a hunter, traditional area, or the Manrehini too. Actually, my Rehine is uh, the heart of a hunter. Wow. And uh, in our tradition, I cover the hunter Hine's back. Mm. I oversee his house mm. in terms of mm. uh, his well being and others. Mm. So, my, the name of my town is Aketechi mm. or Aketemechi. Mm. It's a name wow. that Hantahine himself gave to my ancestors. Mm. He asked them to sit just at my top here, the hill overlooking me, mm. sit and up to, on top of it. And then you will be the one to cover me wow. when I need you. So literally i became his or oh, i am his confidential person the confidential person for the hunter in it wow that is it so guys you have no idea how this this man blowing so i'm literally sitting with the confidence of otum for the ninth right 
or two four but it was so the 15th the 15th but okay, i am you are the ninth the ninth nana bother the ninth or two four bidu bones to the 15th so um he's a confident right and next to my left is the chief advisory nana but you are for me i'm an adult but it's all about can we go into this one kakana Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Mm. So he's saying he's literally the Tufu Hene, which literally means the chief advisory to um, Otunfo himself. And wait a minute, but this is where I don't get. He's he's a young he's a young chief. He's so young. So how did he become the chief advisory? Now no, in the Bay of Tufu Hene, considering your age. Jide, a guanumba bote. So what I'm getting is that he is instilled into the stool, right? So whatever tradition, whatever history that is behind the stool is what he goes with. So the reason why he is the chief advisory is because his ancestors were the chief advisory to Otun for himself. So automatically, once he sits on that seat, he becomes the advisory. So guys, I'm definitely sure he's got a lot of wisdom to tell us. So uh, like I said, these are just intros. We're gonna come back to it. But I'm coming back to my chief, my personal body body chief. Now, so you say when our people came, where did we come from as a people? Yeah. In fact, the long history of us traces our ancestors way, way, way back from uh, Bontuku. Bontuku. Then Bontuku. Well, why is that? That is in uh, northern uh, Cote d'Ivoire. Oh, wow. Then we migrated to Techiman. From Tichiman, we continue the journey, as I've been told, to Mankesim, to Cape Coast, to Elmina, then finally to Sekendi. Oh, wow. Where the present day Nava base is. Oh, okay. Yeah. And the history of it that when the white people came and started building the castles and all those things, mm. it became very, very uncomfortable for those living around there. So our people have to move from the side mm. and then entered the bush. Okay. So they first came to around Sekedi, we call a place Butumejebu mm. now. Mm. It's called it was then a Jebu crop. They came there, mm. they settled, the chief settled them there, and then they continued to look for a place of their own mm. to settle. Mm. <clears throat> so they discovered a place very close, about uh, five kilometers from Butumejebu, which is now called Nkrofor. Okay. Not wow. Nkrofor in Zuma, but Nkrofor in Sekendi. Wow. It's just very close. Nkrofor. So our ancestors were the first people to settle at the place. You mean Nkrofor? They Nkrofor. Mm. And the name Nkrofor came about when the migration continued and some of us of our, of our ancestors came to this part. Mm. I mean, deep hunter here, mm. this year. And then, literally, they said we have to go back to look for, to visit those who left behind. Okay. Oh. So going back to look for our people, young people, young people that, that were left behind. That was what the name remained. Oh. So that village initially became Uncrofor. Oh. And the name is stuck to today. Same. So same. they continued to until they came to Busia. Mm. In fact, the tragical thing is that the sea that was they were running away from because they were afraid of the whites and for the slavery and all those things. Eventually, they landed at the sea again, <laughs> which is Busia here. Wow. So they didn't have no option. Mm. They, they went to Hantahini. Mm. So Hantahini singing them. 
so that the emblem they were holding mm. was the parrot. That's the, the parrot sign. right there. That's the parrot. Mm. So the antenna said, ah, you are welcome. You are one of me. Mm. So you are really mine. Mm. So sit on top of this hill. Mm. I'm talking about that hill overlooking the Busha Beach, Busha today, which is the Butre Hill. Okay. So Butre was the original ancestral home of my people. Wow. So Bedubosu himself settled them there. When he settled them there, then he gave them the name Aketechi, as mm. Aketemechi. So you will be the people I will lie on to come mm. and cover me mm. in terms of everything. Mm. So mm. that is it. Um, Sami, uh, if, if I should go back, your own grandfather or my, my, our, grand, uh, our grandmother mm. was married by Otufo's uncle. Oh, wow. So this is where your mother was born in this house. My mother. Your mother was born in this house. <laughs> guys, two things. He Is called it? me Sammy. You guys don't know that I'm Sammy. So he called me Sammy. I'm Sammy. I can, I can now, call him Mensa. <laughs> of, <laughs> why are you putting all my names out there? So, <laughs> so wait. But this 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 is insane. This this very house. This very house. It was then a wooden structure. That was the par that was the seat of the paramount chief at that time. Oh. That was so our grandfather, mm. which was your mother's father, mm. was the one who installed Bedi Bosa the 13th. Oh, wow. So our grandmother was here, and that was where he gave birth to all of your, uh, your mother and your uncles. Unfortunately, they gave birth to 10th born, which is your uncle Robert sitting at home mm. now. So they had to move from this house to the next house there. Okay. To the next house there. You can just see it across the side. Because of the tent Because bond. of the tent bond. And tent bond doesn't stay in the, par in the palace. So oh. they moved them from the palace and they settled at that house. Because of the tent bond. the tent bond. So it was from that house, then the old man built his own house where he is now at the moment. So oh. This is where. So this actually home. That is why. That is why we are academic, and this is why we are so much related to this big stool, the hunter, hunter, hunter in this tool. Wow. Listen, guys, I never. This this is stuff I never knew. That actually, I'm sitting right where my mom's was born, and also my grandfather is connect. My great grandfather is connected to the stool. The stool here. To the stool here. Wow. To the stool here. So you are a pure royal. Your, your grandfather and your grandmother all came from the royal home. And you are a pure Anana, that is the echo. Mm. Because your grandfather, which is the uncle of Bidi mm. has the parrot as his emblem. And mm. your grandmother also has the parrot as his emblem. That is my background. So wow. my grandmother is your grandmother, and that is why we are related to the stool of Akatichi. Wow, guys, I didn't see this coming. <laughs> this, is, this is overwhelming to actually hear that the very place I'm sitting is actually the place that holds the history of my fathers and my mothers and my ancestors. And actually for him to tell me this history is, is just mind-blowing. Now, I'll ask him another question. What I've heard. This is just intro, right, guys? We'll come back. So, Nana, you see, 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 you we be able to buy the hunter we be able to buy the hunter. Oh, okay. Now, if you didn't buy the bunso, na angi sanso. Or chade, or you be a queer no be fair na odeno tumpo ano. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Guys, so back on being surprised by my chief with the history he poured down, 
Now I'm here, so I asked him who is Bede Bozo. He said Bede Bozo is the one that settled our people in this place. And he ensured that the name of the stool would be named as Bede Bozo. Every chief that came after him would be named. But going back prior to that, the name Bede Bozo is actually somebody that was bet forth or brought to shore by the whale. Nana e Oyana is a Mbia. Oyana is a Mbia. Gee, there's a hunter in Abuqua Sema. Yeah, I'm from Gee, the new free tree. That's a true history. Most in Yana and Twin and your old barber found you bush another hunter. Quanana, no one. Told you, baby, I'm not there, walk crossing soon. Oh, you baby, baby, I could come up into no there, maybe I'm being more for Pumti. Okay, he's in Angusap, I say, or your dear, no doubt. No, a book on Canas, I see him now. No sorrow, I know, get an insemino. Or this is your year in Suano. After the music, probably Uncle Ratu, River Pra, or near maybe a year, a year Nasa, I see to Bonsay Alfano, Uncle Wasa, Hadam, area, the moon so I can see the day. On an ordinary, you see so much of the mass, I see him now, or Yanadia. But see a local medital suited the American. Or you be the bones of Nangasan. Or you be a no who you home. I couldn't know you watch a day. So I ban a kuma, or ya do a kum. A ban in your name, one will find the war and also black magic and if you didn't see shooting on ye ain't. Yaraka be the bones, or you be a child or your powerful now. A hin a hindi mono, or you be out the sambosa. Or no, did you know there? My sambo ne the maddy, the maddy. We don't see any way in such a day. Only you be a new tomb and be a awful pum. Now Pumus Yaka board up my new home. Oh, Yakasia, only. Kwela <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Um, he was, was endowed spiritually and physically in wisdom and in herbs. So coupled with all these things would easily tell you he's one of the most powerful people ever to live on the face of the hinterland. And even the name Bonsu depicts the whale. In Nana Bedu, inti last one before my ba Nana do, inti Nana Carson be about my uncle, or yet tenth born, no do wofi and he feel no. But I said Bedu, so che de tenth born, Nana. Oh yeah, them, them them no, we are corrupt now. Okay. Near them no yet Bedu to have reached the whales. Oh. Oh, Yakan one had to me, man, at the Arkan West and the Arkan Gana Persia will be a no two mash and a man. Oh, so when I hear the man, you two me for your two for that, two the two men angers and authority. In tea, I share other books are rough and angers and put by our bear. Who would there a hunt and angers a year? Potent kingdom, the dada. Oh, and the other kingdom, so no, she shall be the master and send me a founding at the back on an edeno. We be around Quan Canada. Oh wow! I will be to the sun. We don't come. Wow! Ned and Tatu too for the bones today. Wow! Unlike Adam, we know my one. No, she will be as a chair and son. We be one found. We one found. The end of the day, from time immemorial. Oh, okay. Wow! So I was trying to understand the name Bedu because Bedu it signifies um, a tenth bone, and um, Nana corrected me that the name is corrupted into Bedu now, but originally it wasn't Bedu. It was Bedru. Which literally means you've you've reached a point, you've gone to reach a mark, or you've set a mark. So Bedru Bonsu, which literally means that the one that overpowered the whale, the one that um, subdued the whale, and also the whale brought to shore. So the name is actually Bedru Bonsu, not Bedu Bonsu. So that was the corruption. And even for him to get the name Otum for it literally means that he was the one that had ultimate power. And commanded absolute power over the entire kingdom this is the hunter is one of the only kingdoms that was never conquered it has his own dynasty it was a potent kingdom even when the westerners came and slavery and i know when we come back again we're going to talk about slavery and details i heard that there's a story about slavery that has never been told in ghana and i'm going to ask nana a question right now so his title, his name, was all an, a depiction of who he was and what he did and the potency and the power that he actually mandated. Um, and uh, other, the, the other thing that he was also saying was the fact that when we come to Ghana, when he was the first person to be called Bedubo, uh, Otumfo, he was the first um, king or chief to king, not chief, king, to be called um, Otumfo, which literally means that the entire nation, he was the one man that man, uh, commanded power and had absolute power. Nana? Erika, I said that Yefi, Cote you said we came from Cote d'Ivoire, portion mm -hmm. of Cote d'Ivoire to Ghana, but I've heard, this, and this can be false, I've heard that we actually came from northern part of Africa. Yes. It's true. We came from the northern part of Africa. Mm. And uh, I'm telling you, I've had the privilege to go to Iran in wow. northern Algeria. Wow. That is where I had traced our ancestors to. Wait, you traced it yourself? Yes. Mm. And uh, Boza that I, 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 I was told, the mm. Boza that I met, mm. uh, I was told to spread the Boza as B H U. Mm. ZZA. Mm. That was the buzzer. Mm. So, sitting here, I can say emphatically with all the authority that it is true, my stool is buzzer. Mm. And uh, you know the migration of the of the days. Mm. It was war and all those things. Yeah. yeah. So from Iran, we traveled, in fact, uh, some even say we passed through Algeria and uh, 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 Libya mm. and then came through the desert wow. until we entered uh, 
not in Cote d'Ivoire. No, 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 no. And then finally, we came to Tichiman. But that's a powerful statement because if we are saying our great great grandparents migrated mm. from the northern part of Algeria, mm. then it's actually confirming the fact that the, the northern African regions were whitened later on, but those areas were predominantly for oh. our people. So, I mean, it is true, and I won't tell a lie, just look at yourself. Mm. The set of hair you carry. Mm. The set of hair you carry eh? mm. in your own family. Mm. Go to your, your uncle Robert. Mm. Go to your uncle now. Mm. Check your own junior brother, uh, your senior brother. There, mm. see, check my own. Mm. I'm also your senior brother. Yeah. This type of hair, mm. even though it has been over the period mm. transformed and all those, things, but that mark is there, mm. just like the Fulani hair or the, the, oh. the North African hair. That color you carry now. It is not, uh, what I would say, uh, a painted. You see, <laughs> yes, it is. It has an ancestral blood. Your, your grandmother, mm. your mother. Mm. I mean, th that's, that's the color you've been carrying. Mm. Your grandmother, th your great grandmother. I mm. uh, came to meet our great great mother, mm. great grandmother, the mother of your of your mother. Mm. Uh, the mother of your grandmother. Okay. I met him when I was a little boy. I used to carry. Her things like you were going to the farm. She mm. was very old. They were very pure white. Mm. She has a very silky white hair. You see? Mm. So that is the history. And that wow. is where we came from. And I'm saying over the period, mm. you see, intermarriages and yeah. so many things has come about until we are present in this form. But that is true, our our our, our background, our our historical mm. yes background or the journey that mm. we came until we met here today. Wow, well, guys, listen. Um, this is a short intro, so I'm not going to go into it. But I can't wait for the full conversation. I can't wait for us to actually sit down and go into details. I can't wait to hear all the secrets that this land holds. I I, I even heard that two of my grand parents, my great great grandparents actually went were part of the Second World War and they were the very few ones that came back alive. I've heard stories about palm nuts and Malaysia. I've heard so many powerful, powerful things. I'm not gonna go deep into it. We're gonna bring it here. And my last my last secret. He was the one that actually took care of me when I was a baby. <laughs> so he actually he, babysitted he, he, me. He, he will be spitting on me like the one sitting down, but listen down there. He was spitting on me, throwing all sort of. So that's him. That's him. And then, and then so I mean, before you come in mm. or before you conclude, mm. you see about a hunter, mm. about a hunter and the independence of the African continent or Ghana. Mm. No African, no no African tribe. Mm fought independent war more than the hunters. Wait, wait, are you serious? I'm telling you, this is the truth, and take it right for me. Now, in Busia Palace here, the hunters were the only tribe on the African continent who fought against slave trade. You began that about King Medibonso, yes. the second whose head was taken to the Hague, uh, the uh, University of Leiden mm. in Amsterdam, in Holland. Mm. Yes. He fought, he fought against slavery. Mm. He was the only African king. When others were interested in engaging in slave trade, selling and all those things, mm. who was the only one who fought? And let me tell you, at the time he conquered the, the Dutch many mm. times, the Dutch had to go. You can imagine so that. So it wasn't time. the first combat that they took his head? No, 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 no. They fought them so many, more than 10 years. The, wow. Dutch, the Dutch had to go back to Holland to bring him reinforcement. And we can imagine that time, before 1830, mm. that an African has to fight a white man to go back to bring reinforcement. Wow. And when he came, he had to hire some people, the Fantes, the Asantes, and the Wasses. The Asantes is in the history that they donated 2,000 troops. Wow. There was there was 20,000 20, 20, 20, 20, troops. 20,000 troops. The Ashantis. The Ashantis. There was there was says donated 10,500. The Fanti donated 10,000. All because they wanted a way to trade with the white. Oh. That was why. 
And even it wasn't easy. At that time, our hunters thought they finished with the white people, they finished with them. So that was the time that most of the combat has gone back oh. to their various places. So, King Benibos was just relaxing here on one Sunday in his palace here. When he saw people came to inform you that there are quite a lot of people coming from the sea. Wow. And some were also coming from the land. So he came back to see, ah, where are they coming from? They should go and welcome them. We didn't know they were coming to fight him. Mm. That was it. So wait, you, you mean to tell me it took over almost 100,000 troops to be yes, able to capture? To capture him. The white alone, I mean, if you read the history, one evening, some of the white who came, mm. the reinforcement who wanted to come to fight him, mm. they were advised by the British, they were advised by the Dutch themselves and others, mm. that they should not take that adventure. The man is very dangerous, very powerful. Wow. They told him. So for that to be possible, then they had to hire a local man. That is why in history they said the Bedibos was betrayed by his own men. His, or the, it, I heard that, that, that. hunters. I heard he was betrayed by his own no, people. No, no, the hunters didn't betray him. It was betrayed by his own people was that. It was we the blacks. I mean, the men, the, our own indigenous, the Gold Coast people who betrayed him. And let me tell you one thing too. Wow. If they named Ghana Gold Coast, mm. the Gold Coast, they did not name Ghana Gold Coast because of the gold from the interior. A hunter was endowed with gold. And what I hear was that, what I heard, was that when the man sat down during his festival, mm. my, my old man who told me was that, said that uh, if gold could be, could be weaved into cloth, mm. you would ever see the man wearing gold, golden cloth because he sat down with a pot of gold. And that was the envy of the white. Wow. It is because they wanted to capture him with all the gold. That is why they fought and fought and fought and fought him. And the man was very powerful. Wow. <laughs> Listen, I wasn't prepared for this. I, I, I had no idea I was going to get this type of history. And to actually hear stories about your great-great-grandfather and you, you realize how powerful he was, humbles you. And this is why I can't wait to actually come back and do the full documentary of um, the Ahanta people, of uh, all the neighboring villages of the Ahanta man. And, and listen, I, ha I definitely have to go because I heard Akitechi also have a very rich and powerful history as well. I can't wait to have this conversation. You know, guys, I love you. Put your comments in the desc uh, descriptions. And what I want to, all the conversations that we are having, they are key areas, they are key points, they are locations that you can actually visit when you come down to Ahantaman. So what I want to do is that if you want to come to Ghana, if you want to take a trip down to the Ahanta and really be a part. You know the, the real history of the diaspora, those who really, really, really fought against slave trade, only you have to come to Ahanta. Other stories, just folk stories. Wow. I'm hiding something. I want to wait until you come <laughs> The way our hunters prepare for war, how they prepare for war, and how it was difficult for people to conquer them. And why today people celebrate fancy dressing like uncles and all those things. Wow. It is the origin of our hunter culture, how we go to war. When you come back, I will tell you more. Guys, I love you guys. I want to say a big thank you to uh, Nana on my left, who is the um, chief advisory to Otum for himself. He's actually the chief of the Aguna traditional area. And also to my right is my own family, my uncle, my friend, my, my brother, my chief of Akatechi, who is doing amazing things. I've seen some of the things that's going on at Akatechi, and I'm telling him that he shouldn't do any more projects, he should wait for us. We're coming home, we come to partner, we come to work with him to blow the minds of people. I love this, I'm humbled. You know me, Kojo Bento, I'm excited. And now he mentioned Sami Mensah. Okay, I love you guys, I'll see you.